Vladimir, Vladimir, Grand Dodgers. Vladimir, are you absolutely sure that you have packed all the suitcases? Haven't you forgotten any of my boxes? No, Grand Duchess. You've asked me five times. Well, better to be safe than sorry, so my deceased husband said. God rest his soul. Nespa? Oh, if she would only go. The best thing about the Russian winter is that my mother escapes to Paris. <laughs> what are you laughing about, Anastasia? Would you remember ever, please, when adults are talking, children have to keep quiet. Compris? Yes, Granny. Please do not call me Granny. I am Grand Duchess Olga of Romanov. This is a law for you as well, Muppety. Vladimir, my jewelry box. Me vi, vi. And you, my son. Don't you want to come to Paris with me? Now you know I can't leave Moscow. The people are planning a revolution to drive me away. Me, the Tsar of Russia. Imagine that. The people want to rule themselves? Ha! The people are stupid. Have you anything to say? Your intelligence is not up to standard, I am afraid. But mother... Really, my son, you need an advisor whom you can rely on. But Rasputin, I believe, has a face of a traitor. <laughs> Grand touches, that's enough. Rasputin has been in my service for many years, and he was always faithful to me. You had better take care of things you understand more. Vladimir! Vladimir! Where is he gone now? I will never get away from here! I cannot fly, unfortunately. Here is your jewelry box. Anastasia! Come here! Yes, Granny. Sorry, Grand Duchess, I mean, of course. As long as I'm away, you will wear this pendant round your neck so that you won't forget me. Compris, ma petite? I am sure I wouldn't forget you without the pendant either. And none of us will. <laughs> Let's go now. Au revoir, my dears. Au revoir. And Anastasia, don't forget to remain sitting at the table after all have finished eating. And you, my son, make sure you not trust Rasputin too much and... This Rasputin is totally ineffective. He has promised a thousand times that the Tsar would go with his mother to Paris. And now, that old pain in the neck has gone away alone. Right, Vladimir? Well, the rest of the family has stayed here and how the old woman has tyrannized me again, has treated me like dirt. Vladimir, my hat box! Maybe the... <laughs> That'll be the last time if we don't do anything against it. The Tsar lives like a god, and the people in the country are starving. And in the palace, tons of food is thrown away. Am I right, cook? Yes, yesterday I had to throw away five kilos of loins, eight kilos of pheasants, ten loaves of bread, and three pounds of butter as well. Ah, oh, there we are. If anybody says anything against it, he will be put in prison. I would have a much less against your revolution if Rasputin was not involved. It's his job to help us drive the Tsar away. After that, he's finished. Speak of the devil. How do you dare to turn up here? Hadn't you promised that the Tsar would go with his mother to Paris and we'd prepare the revolution in peace? If you weren't always shouting away with the Tsar, away with the Tsar, he would certainly have gone to Paris. But it doesn't work like that. These are lame excuses. We can go on without your help. We can do it without you. It was a silly idea from the beginning. Don't you wait a little bit. I'll keep my promise. Tonight, you will be rid of the Tsar. Yes.
Nobody has survived. They must all be dead. I can't help thinking. I think it looks like arsony. <laughs> Look over there. That little girl must be freezing. The child is full of soot. She must have been in the palace. She is probably the daughter of a servant. Whatever should get me? Anastasia is still alive. Oh, wait, I will change that immediately. <laughs> well, well, don't cry. What is your name, my little girl? <laughs> you must have a name. I don't know my name. I don't know anything. She, she doesn't know who she is. That is good. After looking like that, nobody will think that she's the daughter of the Tsar. <laughs> She doesn't know who she is. Is that possible? We can't leave her here standing here alone. First of all, you come home to me, and when you have slept, you will know who you are, where you belong. You agree? Come with me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, dear. Rasputin's coming. I don't want to see him. Let's disappear. Hey, stop there! What do you say now? I have kept my promise. The Tsar is dead. If I wasn't such a light sleeper, we all would have been burned. Exactly! We finished with you. Come here. Not so last. We had agreed that I make sure that the Tsar disappears, whereas you make sure that the people will elect me as their president. The people can elect who they like. We can't decide that. Well, I definitely won't elect you. You almost killed us, didn't you? Exactly! Come here now, why are you still talking to him? You will pay for that. The day is yet to come. Yes! Ah, oh, did you have a good sleep, my little dove? Mm, she likes you. Normally she barks when foreigners come to visit us. What's her name? Sasha. Sasha. But there is no reason to cry. Everybody's got a name, but I don't have one. You've told me when I will wake up, I will know who I am. You still cannot remember you anything. <laughs> you have probably lost your memory from the explosion last night. Things like that happen. But I want it back. Will I get it back? When? Difficult to say, perhaps, but perhaps not. Hmm. You are right, Sasha. Sasha wants you to stay with us. What do you think of that? Yes, but only until I know who I am. I agree. But we need a name for you nevertheless. What name would you like? Hmm. Could my name be Asha? Of course, only until I remember my own name. Asha. Well, why not? What about breakfast now? Six years later. I haven't been elected. This mob has not elected me again. Democracy isn't worth anything. Let's have a revolution. Oh, don't talk such rubbish. Revolution. We had one just a couple of years ago. Okay, then you start a new revolution. Some people say rats are intelligent animals. What nonsense? No, the old babushka must help me. Babushka! <laughs> Comrade Rasputin, I have just heard you have failed in the elections a second time. So you blew up the palace for nothing six years ago. <laughs> and whose fault was it? Yours, of course. You told me with the Tsar and his family when they're dead, I come to power. When the family of the Tsar is dead, my dear, I told you only when all are dead you will come to power. But Anastasia is alive! Kill her! 
How can I find a girl after all this time? She could be anywhere now. That's your problem, my dear. <laughs> <laughs> the old Grand Duchess in Paris still believes her granddaughter is alive. She must be pretty mad. She has even offered a reward of 10,000 rubles for the one who brings back Anastasia. 10,000 rubles? I would really like to know how many false granddaughters will be pinned on her. There he is! The thief! Stop him! Stop- Oh dear, that's all I needed. Eh? Couldn't you stop him, Dom? That was Boris Glowacki. This crook has cheated me out of 200 rubles. Boris Glowacki? Ah, have I done that before? He sold rotten tomatoes to my brother-in-law for 75 rubles. If there was only water and 10 bottles of vodka which my neighbor got from him. It's really about time we put a stop to his game. You're safe. Nobody's close on your heels, but I have to disappear from Moscow. At least until this thing is dead and buried. Well, St. Petersburg would not be bad. We don't want to buy anything. I don't want to sell anything. I just want to take shelter here. Please let me in. What is your name? Boris Klovaki. Well, Boris Klovaki, then come in. You can stay here overnight. You can't continue with this horrible weather. Be quiet. My daughter is already asleep. Now, have you slept well? <laughs> Say, uh, can't, can't you tie up this monster? Don't tell me you're afraid of Sasha. Have you heard, Sasha? He is really afraid of you. Asha, my daughter, where are you? Make breakfast for our guest. You must play with her, otherwise she won't give you any rest. Well, if you say so. Come in, Asha. I can't believe it. The pendant is worth at least a hundred, perhaps even two hundred rubles. Be quiet, you stupid mongrel. Mm, if I sold this, I could pay all my debts and wouldn't have to go to St. Petersburg. Ah, what a good idea. Boris, I must have lost my pendant somewhere around here. Have you seen it? No, I don't think so. There's no pendant around here. I certainly would have noticed it. What's the matter, Sasha? Are you quite sure that you haven't seen it? 100% sure. But now I have to go. What about breakfast? There must be something wrong here. What do you think, Sasha? Look here. Look what I've got here. Not bad, eh? Where do you get that from? Oh, I was given it by an old man because, well, I chopped wood for him. Uh, yeah, I chopped wood for him. You? Chopping wood? I hope that is true. Listen, you know me. Why would I lie to you? You've known me for ages. Exactly. Doesn't matter. Let me... Tell me how many rubles will you give me for that? But, Comrade Chef, it's the same pendant like the one in the newspaper. Keep your mouth shut. What? Where in the newspaper? Oh. Why? But that's my pendant. Like you are. But it's exactly this one which was presented by the Grand Duchess to her granddaughter when she traveled away. Imagine that. That means that Asha is... Wow, Asha is... Eh? Boris, stay here. I give you a hundred rubles for it. You think I'm mad? 
I'll bring the granddaughter to the Grand Duchess and will collect the reward. Ten thousand nice little rubles. How can you be so stupid? Oh, oh, come and see. We could have easily earned the money ourselves. Come on, go fetch Rasputin. He will certainly be interested in what I have just heard. Asha! Asha! You dare come back here? You thief! You robber! You gangster! You bandit! You crook! Asha, stop that! I haven't stolen your pendant, but when I was at my home, I noticed that it had fallen into my boot. What are you saying? I don't believe my ears. Sasha, have you heard my pendant has fallen into his boot? Yes, it fell into the right boot, if you want to know exactly. Look at that. This, our guest, and Asha's pendant has turned up as well. Have you been pricked by your conscience, you old vagabond? I'm not a vagabond. You're totally wrong. Now he is in a huff. Come, Sasha, let's go. Wait, Sasha. I just want to know where you, where you got the thing from. I always had it. Why do you ask? Because, well, the pendant is from the possession of the former Tsar. From the Tsar's possession? You must be mad. I've had it forever. That's right. But when Arsha came to me, she already wore it around her neck. Came to you? Is Asha not your real daughter? Yes, yeah, she is now. But as a matter of fact, I found her in the night when the Tsar's palace was destroyed. That must be about six years ago. And your real parents? I mean, you must have parents. I don't know. I can't remember anything that happened before that night. That's unbelievable. She's genuine. Asha is genuine. What are you talking about? Of course I'm genuine. What I mean? The genuine Anastasia, there. Huh? But it looks like my pendant. Let me see. That is your pendant. And you can read in this newspaper that the Grand Duchess presented this pendant to her granddaughter Anastasia. One can assume from that that you are Anastasia. Rubbish. Everybody knows that the whole family of the Tsar was killed at that time. Asha! Asha! What's wrong, dear father? There is also a picture of the little Anastasia. I must say, she looks exactly like you when I had found you. Listen, Asha. Your dear father says I'm right. We must go to Paris immediately. Asha, you are the Tsar's daughter. I can't believe that. And even if it's true, what should I do in Paris? Well, the Grand Duchess is your grandmother, and perhaps you'll recognize her and start remembering again. That's what you have always wanted. So that's what's been decided upon. Asha comes to Paris with me. With us. I wouldn't let Asha go away from home alone. One must keep an eye on such a little crook like you. Yes, Sasha. If we have to go to Paris, you will come with us, of course. Are you sure that Boris has got the old Duchess's pendant? You know what I've told you, and I'm never wrong in things like this. Who is this girl? Where does she live? Boris, of course, hasn't told me. I know her name is Asha, but if I know Boris, he has caught her and is on the way to Paris now. He wants to collect the reward. On the way to Paris. There is only one way to Paris. <laughs> a coach. I need a coach immediately. Stop! Stop! My hundred rubles! You have promised me a hundred rubles if I help you. <laughs> too late! Too late! The snow is gone. It's already springtime here. Don't fidget around so much. Otherwise, the coach will topple over. Chiap! 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 Faster! Chiap! Chiap! Faster! Faster! Here. I want to stop here. I like it here. I agree. 
I am hungry. Apart from that, my bones need a little bit of a movement. Oh! Post! I will make a really nice post. You want to cook? I really don't know. Why shouldn't Boris be able to cook? Hmm, if he can distinguish a cucumber from a tomato, you can call me Trotsky. Wait a bit. Come, Sasha, let's take a walk. We don't want to get involved with this. Master, you stupid beast! It wants to take a break, and we have almost reached the target. Well, just for a short time, I want to catch up with Anastasia before it gets dark. Stay nearby, Kirk. When I was told, you come back. <laughs> you leave Kirk alone, you bloody mongrel! <sighs> You're almost eaten. Don't do that again. How dare you swear at my dog like that? Sasha is not a bloody mongrel. Get away, you country bumpkin, or I will. Yes, I'll bring Come you... Come here, Sasha. I don't want to be offended by him like that. We go back to the old father and Boris. What did she say? Old father and Boris. That was Anastasia. Oh, am I an idiot? That could have been my chance. A short stab of the same and Oh, what an idiot. What a crank I am. Arsha, do you smell that? It's delicious. Mmm, delicious. Perhaps this Boris is not such a bad guy. After all, hmm? What do you think? What's the matter with her? Oh, we just saw a strange man. He swore at Sasha. What did she do? She tried to catch a rat, but it was a tame rat and obviously belonged to the man. Sasha couldn't really know that. A rat? A man with a rat? Black beard, long nose, rather thin? Yes. Do you know him? That can only have been Rasputin. Everyone in Moscow laughs at him and his rat. What is he doing here looking for you? Rasputin. It has been told that this is Rasputin who set fire to the Tsar's palace. <gasps> but what is told beyond that is that he wants to kill the Tsar's daughter. I don't want to be killed by Rasputin. Do something about it, Boris. It's already done. Getting rid of pursuers is part of my job. I've had a lot of practice at it. How will that happen? Pay attention. Up to now, Rasputin has pursued us. But from now on, we will pursue Rasputin. What? Ingenious. You don't understand, dear father. We just hide ourselves somewhere and wait until Rasputin has passed us. Then we can eat our borscht at last and drive behind him peacefully. Is he not a wonderful cook, our Boris? Good heavens. If you keep on like this, you will become a real couple of gangsters. Well, let's go to work, huh? Get busy. Is that far enough? It should be enough. Hey, get up! Get up! Faster! Faster! Come on! It worked! It worked! What do you say now? Now we have enough time to eat. Mmm. We should have caught up with them already by now. Giop, come on, faster! Giop, faster! Suspicious subject in front of us! Only one on the run will rush like it! We have a closer look at him! Stop, stop! Giop, Giop! What do you want? What do you want? Let me through, I'm in a rush! We realize that! Why are you in such a rush? Who are you running from? Run away? That's nonsense! Out of the way, you stupid fool! What did you say? Fools! Stupid fools! You're arrested for insulting civil servants! Carry on! Carry on! Carry on! Carry on! Move on! What's the matter, General? Anastasia, 
Now I've caught you at last. I knew there was something wrong with him. Excuse me, mademoiselle. He must be a madman. You can see that by the rat. Well, take him away. He won't molest you again so quickly. Thank you, General. My pleasure, mademoiselle. Take him away. Paris. I never had dreamed, never in my life, that one day I would come to Paris. So many streets. How can we find the Grand Duchess here? Boris, where are you going? I'm going to that shop. In the shop, they'll certainly know where the Grand Duchess is. In a house of fashion? Hmm, Boris knows his job. If you know the Grand Duchess, then you have to look for her in a fashion salon. And? Do they know where she lives? Of course. Not far from here. In fact, right around the corner, so to say. Mon Dieu, Russians again? Well, am I right in the assumption that you would say that the girl is Anastasia? She is Anastasia. Mequi, Mequi, Anastasia the 25th. Evidence, s'il vous plaît. No, I will give you evidence. We want to see Grand Duchess, mais vi, vi, vi. Oh, I'm sorry, without evidence, no entrance. You arrogant snot. We are right when we are started the revolution in Russia. <laughs> Don't be so rude, dear father. Comrade Butler, this is the pendant which I received as a child from the Grand Duchess. That can have been forged. That's enough. Get him, Sasha. Go on. <coughs> Russian peasants, what do you want? Be brave, Arsha. Go to her. Look at this, comrade. Comrade? What do you mean, my comrade? I am the Grand Duchess Olga of Romanov. Compre? Somehow I've heard that sentence before. That's it. That's the pendant which I presented to Anastasia. I recognize it exactly. Mickey, c'est la medallion. You see, that's what I told you. Come here, my petit. Are you really Anastasia? Ah, yes. This is Anastasia indeed, your grandmother. Oh, then. I was right all the time. To shuff, to shuff, to canaille! Ha 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 ha! Alas, you are right, but unfortunately I made a mistake by not touching this girl. Only if she's dead can I come to power. Dimitri! Do something about it, my zi, zi! To hell with all of you! Stop, Sasha! Stop, Sasha! This is not a ball! This is a bomb! Stop, Sasha! Get off, you stupid beast! Stop! What are you doing there? Help! Help! Oh, that was close. Why were we lucky? You heartless man! How can you say that? Sasha is dead and you say we're lucky? And you wanted to go to America with me? Sasha! Excuse me, Arsha. What did you just say about America? Well, uh, the Grand Duchess has offered a reward. A thousand rubles! Ten thousand rubles. Hmm. And with these ten thousand rubles, Asha and I wanted to go to America. That's what we thought up on our journey. To the land of the proletarians? You must be mad. Le petit fil. Hmm. America. Why not? That is not possible. You cannot leave me alone here after I have found my granddaughter again at last. Well, I sense the worst. I hope the Grand Duchess does not want to come with us. Dimitri! Dimitri! Oh, yes, Grand Duchess. Dimitri! Are you absolutely sure that you packed all the suitcases and haven't forgot any of my hat boxes? 
You have asked me that for the fifth time now. Well, better to be safe than sorry. So my deceased husband, God rest his soul, said, Nispa? Boris, dear father, I remember again. I've heard all that once before. Asha. To America, c'est incroyable. Democracy, Indians, gangsters, et mon dieu. 